Rodney, on a, on a night you guys were missing so much firepower, how do you explain the efficiency of the offense tonight? Uh, it was just next man up, man. Uh, guys do a great job of just staying ready. You know, so when the number is called, Saban Lee is a, a prime example of that. He's been flourishing in the minutes that he's been getting. So I just just commend the guys to just stand ready and just stand prepared for when the number is called. That they're in rhythm, so they're getting the extra reps in practice. So they're getting like you know game speed type of reps. And for for you too, I, I, Dwayne has talked all year about how you have have done that and behind the scenes been been a really important guy for keeping everybody on the same page. How do you manage to do that? Uh, you just have to, you know, you just have to stay engaged, though. Like you have to stay engaged and stay with the team and just keep a positive mindset and just stay locked in. That's the, that's the main the main thing. And you know, I learned that in my years. One year I was injured and, and just just focusing on just still standing in the game, act, acting like you're going to get those minutes. Your name is going to be called just so you are ready when your name is called. I think you guys had 40 assists tonight. Um, was it, did everybody kind of understand intuitively that without Jeremy, without Josh, it had to be a shared thing tonight? We just came out and said, we just wanted to play together and have fun. That was just our main objective. We, we weren't thinking about, but you know, we did say next man up because we are missing, you know, several guys. So our, our mentality was just next man up, let's play together, share the game and have fun. Next we'll go to James Edwards. Okay. Hey, Rodney, you, you mentioned the physical or the mental aspect of all this, and, and Dennis has gone through a lot the last few years. What have you seen from him and how he's gotten acclimated to Detroit and just the steps he's ta taken in each game? Oh, man, much respect to Dennis, man. Like you say, he's been through a lot, been traded a couple times, and he, I just say he's a professional, man. He has a great mindset. You know, he's uh, he, he acts like a veteran around here. He does, though, just his approach to the game and how. You know, when the flow of the game, he never, you know, never gets too high, never gets too low. So uh, that's just respect to him and his mentality and how he approaches the game. You know, so I, I say he approaches it like a true professional. That's what I would say.